Thanks for staying with News 3. Investigators are still trying to understand why a beaver dam man was building bombs in his apartment leading to that explosion last month. But we're learning more tonight about the evidence that they're looking at. News 3's Rose Schmidt has the latest from Dodge County. This is what's left of building 109 after fire officials burned down the building three weeks ago. And today we're learning more about what was found inside the building after the initial explosion. When the investigators first walked in the apartment, we had obvious signs of, of extensive damage. That damage was so great that they decided to conduct a controlled detonation of apartment 11. Search warrants reveal 13 jars of a white substance were found inside a mini fridge. Although I'm not a chemist, they appeared to be in, in various stages of completion. Um, so, the, yes, there w is what was suspected to be containers of explosive material. At what stage they were in, I'm not sure. But documents show investigators found a box inside the apartment's garage labeled TATP, an explosive used in terrorist attacks. Several days later, firefighters burned down the entire apartment building, determining that was the only way to keep people safe. Lieutenant of Detectives Terrence Gebhardt says he can't confirm for sure what explosives were found inside. Current scientific analysis is still being conducted. Uh, unfortunately, much of the material that was found uh, that was potentially explosive has been destroyed as a result of the fire and uh, planned detonation. After burning down the building, there's not much left but rubble. Police are left with questions about 28-year-old Benjamin Morrow, the man killed in the initial explosion. Guns, ammunition, and white supremacist materials were all found inside his home. Because he had that material does not uh, specifically mean that he was an active member in any white supremacist organization. Uh, he could be simply doing research. And the main question on everyone's mind, why? At this point, I have no reason to believe why he did it. The only thing that I can honestly say at this point is that he had a horrible accident that ultimately caused his death. Authorities say they're still investigating what happened here, and as you can see, there's still a lot to clean up. Police say that could take a while. In Beaver Dam, I'm Rose Schmidt for WISC News 3. And again, investigators have made it clear they do not believe there is any link to terrorism here. If you have any information about Morrow's activities or associations, you are asked to call the FBI tip line at 1-800-225-5324.